there's a lot of there's a lot of fears there's a lot of like uh self-esteem like um you know like wh what would you call call that like you're not sure if you have what it takes to do it and i feel like you're just like this month i'm going to do it no matter what i'm going to push myself i'm going to step out of my comfort zone and i feel for a lot of you it has to do with major career and it has to do with a person that you have a very very strong emotional connection with and you're taking a leap of faith and you're doing something about it so a lot of good energy is coming through mainly because you're go taking that leap of faith okay so already um we have good cards actually we have some very very strong a lot of major arcana well let's see not a lot but i do feel as the advice we have here two major arcana so oh i need another card here excuse me let me get another card out with the king of wands what is he coupled up with okay <clears throat> so let's see here okay so first off we have the queen of swords and the seven of cups so this is a card about you know fantasy versus reality okay and the Seven of Cups usually indicates a lot of choices, a lot of options that we are trying to uh, look at and trying to really understand so that we can make sense of it. I feel somebody is bringing you a lot of confusion, a lot of muddled thinking, and you're scattering your energy between many, many things. You have this illusion of grandeur, and the advice here is for you to bring this energy back down to earth. And what you see is not always what you get. So it's kind of like read between the lines, look past the veneer, and to really use your mind to analyze what somebody is bringing you okay so all of these options are not um entirely good for you so be very careful about the the uh, the choices that you take on and the options that you take on what i'm also feeling as well is um there's a lot of confusion here when it concerns an air sign aquarius gemini and libra if this has not happened by the end of june it is going to come in in july so you're dealing with an aquarius gemini and libra and i do sense that this person is actually very very straightforward in the way they interact but i feel like because they're of a different element than you 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 tend to be a little bit secretive, Scorpio. So you might think that like, okay, I need to read between the lines. I need to like figure out what's going on. But either way, the energy that they bring into your life tends to be to confuse you. So you feel a little bit muddled when they're in your presence and you feel a little bit stirred up, okay? And I don't feel it's in a bad way, but I do sense some thorough communication is going to need to happen between the two of you. And I feel that once again, taking that leap of faith and initiating things and pushing things forward is going to be very good for you. In terms of your communication, for some reason, I feel like I feel like your um, psychic abilities are being enhanced. And normally you are a very, very clear, precise and succinct communicator. But I feel like for some of you this month, it's going to you're going to need that extra push in order to convey your ideas, in order to explain things in a coherent way. So I, I feel like communication uh, needs to be either, it needs to be like tempered a little bit. So I feel like whatever messages that you need to deliver, do it in a very delicate way. Okay. And it's actually good for you this month, not to commit to anything. Um, what I mean by that is if someone, if someone is like forcing you to act and you haven't have, you, you haven't had the time to do research and you haven't done all the preliminary groundwork yet don't make promises that you can't keep because i feel like you're dealing with muddled energy and it's in your best interest to try to you know get a firm footing before you execute a plan before you make a decision okay so there's a lot of preliminary groundwork that needs to be laid out in order to execute some type of a project some type of a new initiative in terms of your work situation we do have here the ace of wands which normally indicates to me new projects it can also indicate new households as well okay new project new new household something that really stirs our passion something that really um ignites us to the core so once again this reminds me of like a march reading or a 
uh, April reading for Scorpio for some reason because we have the Queen of uh, of Swords as well as the, the Page of Swords coming out. So it reminds me of previous reading. So there is a somebody bringing you a spark of passion, and we have an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Once again, I do sense air sign is figuring very, very prominently in your life for this month, and um, I'm going to you know clarify that with the love reading in a little bit to make sure uh, what area of your life they're coming in as. But so far, I'm getting on the work environment that there's going to be some new ideas, some new ways to implement things. And uh, what I'm sensing as well is you have new projects coming in. There might potentially be an air sign that is a little bit uh, resistant or hesitant about initiating some type of project with you. If you have an air sign that is in your environment that's sparking your passion, I do sense that you're a little bit aggressive about this and they might like keep you at arm's length mainly because they're trying to figure out what is your motive. So I feel like there's this back and forth between the two of you where you're just like, let's go for it. And they're like, no, let me think about it. So there's this push and pull factor, okay, between what our heart desire and what our mind wants. And it's a very similar energy to the uh, Pisces reading that I just did. So I feel like there's this heart and heart, head and heart choices. And you're trying to find a way to rectify the two or to balance the two. And I feel like a lot of you strategize. Don't act so prematurely. And I feel like that's not something that Scorpios do in general. But I feel like something is sparking your passion. And you can't wait on it anymore. So you're like trying to move ahead with it. You're trying to push things ahead. Now, in terms of your, um, I, I don't even know how to split this into, you know, just, there are a lot of information coming through, but I do feel that this is like other people that you're dealing with in general. You have a fire sign coming through. So this is going to be a, um, I'm getting father figure, your father, uh, a father-in-law, or a person that is, uh, taking on the role of the father okay so you have a fire sign um Sagittarius Leo Aries and I do feel that the relationship in the past might not have been great with this father figure if it's a father figure mainly because I feel like they are somebody who's very accomplished they are a per person in a position of authority a lot of people look up to them and I feel like there might have been a sense of competition between you and this um, father figure. It feels as if you need to step out from under his shadows. If you're dealing with a fire sign in general, I do sense that there is somebody here. I feel like this might be somebody that is bringing you some type of... Um, I feel like they're they're popping up in your life and there's some type of a standoff, some type of a challenge here. So the fire sign is Sagittarius Leo Aries. It might not be a, a male figure. It could be a woman as well because this is a general reading. I see you on the defense and I see you uh, not really sure how to move ahead. I feel like this person might be an obstacle in your life in some way. So it could be a father figure, a father-in-law, a person in authority, or another fire sign that is like um, very, 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 very like... Um, they seem to me like they have a very challenging, aggressive energy about them. It's not bad, but I do sense like they want you to prove yourself in some way. And as a Scorpio, I feel like you tell yourself, I don't need to prove myself to anybody. So they can take it or leave it. I don't need to prove myself. But I do sense like if this is somebody that you're pursuing romantically, I feel like they're taking a step back. I feel almost as if they know what they're about, they know what they're worth, and they need you to show them what you have to offer before they will budge, okay? So honestly, I feel that Scorpios, you have to put your pride aside. If this is somebody that you are interested in, that you really admire and look up to, um, you're going to have to, you know, show your true colors. You're going to have to show what you're made of in order to get on board with this person, I feel for a lot of you, you might be, let's see, you might have like a change in position and there is an authority figure that is telling you, you know, what are you made of? Like prove yourself to me and you're going to have to go that route. Okay. So I, I feel you like 
itching for a fight with another person. So be very mindful about that. Don't take the defensive stance. I feel like they come with good tidings. They're just a little bit abrasive when they communicate. So don't get on the defense and, you know, start um, gearing up for battle because I feel like it's not necessary. And also they're a king, so they're going to win this battle. So it might be in your best interest to let your guard down and approach this like in a more um in a in a less of a defensive or even offensive stance so you know both sides need to um have some type of a, a truce here now one major thing in your life that is ending here is um this is an emotional connection you've had for a long time with a person okay so a lot of you are dealing with another water sign so uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio I do feel some ending some transitions is being had with this relationship in your life so we have the ten of swords linked up with the queen of cups so for those of you who have been romantically involved with with a water sign in some way a lot of you are finally putting a situation to rest so that you can move on so this can be simply um, as simple as like walking away from this person and moving on to something better or it could be resolving whatever conflict you and the other person have so that you can move forward with more emotional balance and emotional stability. So I definitely feel whatever this situation is, it's going to be the only way you're going to win here because there's so much fire in both of these cards that you have to temper it with a little bit of um, mutual understanding, sympathy. You also need to have like a, a little bit more of a strategy, okay? So the sword and the water will help you temper this long-standing conflict that you've had with another person. I feel for a lot of you, you might have been in a situation where you feel very, very betrayed, abandoned by another person. And this might not have happened this um, <clears throat> this month. It might have happened in the past and you're seething and you're still bringing on that sense of betrayal and uh, resentment with you. This is the month for you to release this so you can do some type of healing for yourself, okay? If you have had a long-standing battle with a father figure or a person who is in a position of authority, I do sense this situation is going to come to an end and you can move on ahead in a more um, even-keeled fashion, okay? So on the other hand, I do sense there is a water sign in your mist. They are dealing with some hardships. So this is, once again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're dealing with some hardship. And I do feel that you are going to have to help them fight a battle. You're fighting a battle on somebody's behalf. Somebody that you feel you have a very strong emotional connection to. Honestly, pick your battles this month. And I feel like a lot of you under immense pressure and especially if you feel like you have a very strong emotional connection to somebody, you will... Um, you will make great sacrifices for them. But if this is somebody that has um, betrayed you in the past, leave this situation alone. Don't scatter your energy picking battles that you can't win, okay? So that's very important for this month. So what's coming through here in terms of the advice for you? We have the judgment card, which is basically be new beginnings. So scrap away the past, let it go, and, you know, start on a new phase in your life you have a blank page here and you can write and you can manifest whatever it is that you want so let the defensiveness go let the past pain and heartache go let that relationship where you felt constantly walking on eggshells where you felt like the other person has really hurt you let that situation go so that you can begin a new phase in your life okay we do have the emperor here and the emperor usually indicates something being blocked out when i do a reading and the emperor shows up it basically means divine intervention stepping in and wherever the emperor lies it's basically the cutoff point so you have some options coming through here so what i'm sensing is you have some offers coming through and this can be in work this can be in projects this can also be in love and i do feel for a lot of you it is the past coming back um it's like the past rearing its head and re-engaging you in conflict it is people from the past coming back in telling you you know I'm, I'm very sorry for what i did can you please forgive me and i feel like for a lot of you you have offers on the table but you have one person in particular that you are very um, smitten by and you're waiting from that one specific one specific offer and the advice here with the emperor coming back in the middle is don't date old people 
by old, I mean people from the past, okay? You're going through a major transformative cycle in your life, and the past cannot be brought into the future. The emperor is here as a gentle reminder that there are divine intervention uh, at work, blocking out things from the past, things that have been problematic, things that have left you in, with a lot of pain and disappointment and despair. They're meant to be weaned out because you have a new beginning coming through, okay? For others of you, I feel like if you're looking for work, there is an offer here for a um, upper management position, a, a position of authority, a position of status. And I feel like there is, um, there are quite like a lot of people vying for the same position. So I see some type of a battle where you are going to have to show yourself what you're made of, show others what you're made of, and to prove to others that you have what it takes to do the job. So I do feel the job will be granted to you. I see the emperor, you know, holding out this globe and it's like, this goes out to the winner. And I do feel for a lot of you, uh, Scorpios, it's going to bring about a new beginning for you. So some offer from the universe is going to bring about new beginnings. And I do feel it is greatly in the love front and also in the uh, work front as well. Let's see what's in store for you for love and relationships. So Scorpio, love and relationships. July 2016, Scorpio, love and relationships. July 2016. Okay. So first of all, what I'm getting with this card here, we do have the King of Cups and this is going to signify your energy. Okay. I feel like a lot of you are kind of at a point where you are feeling uh, emotions again. You're feeling excited. You're feeling fired up and you're feeling that sense of passion again. And a lot of you have been freed from a very significant soulmate type of a connection. So this could be, you know, like somebody you were married with, somebody that you were in a very long standing affair with, um, love affair. So that doesn't have to be like stepping out of a, on a relationship, but it means like just, you know, somebody you had a significant tie with. That tie is, has been broken and I do sense a lot of you are moving on forward, okay? I feel for a lot of you, um, one of the reasons why it's really hard for you to let go of the past and especially past relationship partner is that you feel there was a karmic love connection. There is a soulmate connection. And I feel that it definitely was there, but it has served its purpose in your life. You have done a lot of growth because of it. You're able to mature into, you know, the, the, the pinnacle experience of the suit uh, of cups where you're able to emotionally detach yourself and you're not going to be too clingy or you're not going to be too emotionally invested to the point where you can't extract yourself when things become unhealthy okay so because of it you have done a lot of growth and emotionally you're in a good point right now to pursue new relationships so i feel like um, major relationship change is happening for a lot of you the center of the spread here we do have the six of wands and the Six of Wands, this is a victory card. When it's in the reverse position, it basically means not knowing which way to go and not knowing where you stand, okay? One of the uh, interpretations of this card that I found really interesting is um, this is like celebrating, okay? And in the reverse position, it's sort of like a premature celebration. So I feel like that's what's happening here. Don't count your eggs before they hatch. I do feel that a lot of you are going to have many suitors, especially for those of you who are single. I feel that you are very elated because you're at a, on a, in a position where you have a lot of people coming through and a lot of you have scrapped away a significant relationship. And you know, once a Scorpio gets into a relationship, it tends to last for a very, very long time. You don't enter significant relationships lightly, but now that you're out of it, 
you're starting to realize that, wow, I'm a really good catch. A lot of people are lining up. Um, I would say like, you know, don't get too cocky on the dating front. And especially, I feel that you're dealing with people who are very similar to you, where they also have a lot of suitors. So be very careful about, you know, counting your eggs before they hatch and things like that. Feeling as if I've got this one in the bag, I can take a step back and I can rest on my laurels or I can take a situation for granted. Be very, very mindful about that. Okay. A lot of you are dealing with a fire sign. If this is somebody that you have dealt with from the past, I do see some last minute negotiations happening. I do see some communication that are coming through from this person that unfortunately might get you emotionally riled up. Okay. I do sense they're coming in with a little bit of a defensive stance. So for those of you who have been married to um, this person, I do sense like tr some truths coming to light where you both are going to have to air out your differences, okay? So if this is a long-standing squabble, you have some information here and you also have the victory card, which means that you're going to be able to work things out and build a new foundation together, okay? So overcome your differences in order to build a new foundation. For others of you who are in a uh, re committed relationship and especially a marriage situation, there's something here about children. Um, children being taken out of the picture, so joint custody issues possibly. Um, the children might be sent to the other parent, so you've freed up some time. And the time that you freed up, you can actually spend on socializing and dating other people, okay? What I'm feeling as well, uh, Scorpios, I do sense that your financial situation in the past, like I would say the past uh, six months, financial considerations were very, very um, important. Financially, you might have felt very restricted, so you couldn't date freely. So, you know, dating is expensive. Regardless of whatever gender you are, you're going out all the time and, you know, you you have to, people try to impress. So I feel like dating does get expensive. So I feel like financial considerations might have been a huge factor that interfere with your love life. And I do feel that the financial situation is getting a lot better for you. And as a result of it, you're, um, you're feeling happier. It's helping to boost your self-confidence. It's helping to boost your self-confidence. And as a result of it, you might feel as if you're on top of the world. And as a result, you are attracting a lot of positive people coming your way. What I'm getting here with the Ace of Swords, as well as the Ace of Pentacles, is that you have the beginning of something new. And I do feel you have an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You also have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The air sign came through very recently. So this might have been somebody that you've never dated from the past. The earth sign is something that you're thinking about and you're trying to find a way to balance the two. So I feel like these are the new options that will be very good for you. There is potentially a, a fire sign that you've had like children with or you've had some long-standing conflict with and it's re-emerging, okay? You have a lot of people on your plate for this month and you're in a good emotional space right now. So I can't really say that um, you're going to there you're going to, you know, encounter any squabbles or challenges that you're not happy with. What I'm also sensing as well is lay the past relationship to rest because I feel like they're whatever purpose they've been in your life. It's done and over with. It has served It has served its purpose. So it's best for you to move on forward, okay? So overall, very, very good month for love and romance. Actually, you have many people that you can pick and choose from, okay? So go ahead and make that gesture. I feel like a lot of you are making a grand gesture in order to... Um, in order to like win somebody over. So I feel like you're taking a risk, you're taking a chance, you're making some type of a solid concrete offer and it's made as well very, very strategically, okay? If not, it's coming to you as well. 